What's up YouTube, back here again with another video. This is Brian. Um, this is going to be a quick one. I just wanted to walk through my uh, tackle storage and um, I really like when people show off kind of how they organize and store their tackle for the off season. So this is what this video is. Um, right now we're in winter in Minnesota. Uh, it's a February and everything's out of my boat. So I don't keep anything in my boat over the winter. So this is kind of my full collection of gear actually this is all my tackle i don't have it anywhere else maybe some miscellaneous places around the house but this is pretty much the bulk of my collection i keep everything on one shelf i don't have a big space in my garage to keep like a shop or anything i don't have additional rooms in my house for this kind of stuff so i kind of keep everything super organized consolidated into this one rack so let's go through it real quick first off this rack is from costco it's like one of their heavy duty metal racks it's perfect for this kind of stuff it looks cool too so I'm going to go from top to bottom um, real quick. So top, I have a whole bin full of all of my line. So this is full of a ton of line. Um, all my line is in here. Um, on top of that, I have some of these Mega Bass um, uh, clear plastic sleeves that I use for kind of a day box. I'm going to be using them to like throw um, plastics and stuff in because they're easy to throw around and put under seats inside of your boat. So I got, like, I got a bunch of these because... They're kind of hard to get and they sell out and uh, I want some extras. Um, over here I have some scents and some, let's see, this is grease, um, degreaser for cleaning reels. I do a lot of reel cleaning. Um, I got some extra cans of Bang. Um, those are just extra ones. Some KVD reel uh, or uh, line conditioner, which I don't really know if it really actually ever does anything. And this is the glue I use in the boat. Um, some just fishing glue for baits. Um, I keep uh, a lot of gulp plastics for when I panfish with my son. So me and my son like to catch bluegills and crappie, so I just keep a bunch of that stuff around. Over here, I got some extra Bass Mafia bags, some of my bigger swim baits that I have kind of laying around. I don't have a better place to put them, so I got some 7-inch spark shads. Actually, I think these are all 7-inch oh, spark shads, and I got some 5-inch spark shads. So just bigger swim baits. Uh, here, I'm going to put these in my boat this year. These are the Groove um, launch pads. So these are um, sticky hook keepers that you can put like under compartments or just right on the side of your boat somewhere. So I'm going to apply and find a cool place to put these next year. Um, and this box is a very special bait. I don't do a lot of, I don't buy a lot of high end custom baits or handmade baits, but this is a I'm not going to open it right now, but it's a, a Munka Lure Works uh, FP crawler. So this is a hand-carved, handmade Japanese topwater crawler. Um, maybe I'll do a whole video on that later. But moving on, uh, let's see. This box is just new stuff I bought that I haven't organized yet. Oh, yeah, this is a whole order from Nishini. So I might do a whole video on Nishini Lure Works baits later. Um, some extra Plano boxes that I haven't. I don't have anything inside of yet. Uh, this is my... This is my Plano Frog box. This is all my swim bait heads. I did um, I did the groove box in a different video. This box is all trailers. Um, so I can pull that one out. So this is all swim bait trailers. Um, and some craws. Oh, uh, there's some random stuff. So mostly grubs, spinner bait trailers, and it looks like there's some chicker craws in there too. Uh, just some kind of random stuff. Which one's this? Oh, this is um, a whole box of Senko, swim Senkos. I don't really use them that much. That's why they kind of sit on the shelf. Um, I should probably give those to somebody. Okay, moving down. I got a big old bin of... Oops. Sorry, my calendar. I got a big old bin of Grande Bass, or Grande Bass Baits. Grande Baits. I really like their worms. They're kind of my main worm company. So I have a whole bunch of their stuff here. This box is pretty much all swim baits. Uh, mostly Mega Bass Spark Shads. Um, a couple random uh, straight king swim baits and in the back here I got a little stash of uh, man bear pigs which are one of my favorite Texas rig flipping baits and then there's some Kitex hiding down there so just kind of random swim baits but my most of my spark shad collection now these are my KVD speed bags these are the things I load up to actually put in my boat so my boat is full of these KVD speed bags um, a lot of these I haven't unloaded from last year because I'm just going to reload them right back into my boat so I write down on the top of the speed bags what's in it. So like for instance, here's a worm and stick baits. So still full of <laughs> lots of stick baits. Um, I think this was my 
big worms, so larger size worms and tubes. So some of these I haven't fully unloaded because I'm just going to put them right back in my boat in the uh, in the spring. And then these are the ones I have unloaded. These are all empty. So I love KVD speed bags. So I kind of go through my plastics archive, pick out what I'm going to use for that particular weekend or week or trip or whatever tournament. And then I load my bags and the bags are what go in and out of my boat. So down here, I love Z-Man. So this is my big backlog of Z-Land baits. All sorts of different stuff in here. Um, obviously, if you are a bass fisherman, you have a lot of rage baits. Um, anytime they go on sale or clearance, I load up. So I got mostly... Um, I got mostly, uh, let's see, I got a lot of structure bugs. I got a lot of um, Rage Menace grubs. I got a lot of space cowboys or whatever they're called, space monkeys, flipping bait. Um, a lot of space monkeys, um, a lot of rage, uh, rage bugs. Um, I even got some uh, rodents back there. So basically all my KBD rage uh, product backlog is right here. So here... And this bin is mostly um, creature and flipping baits. And so I got a ton of D-bombs. So I, I use D-bombs a lot. So these are mostly D-bombs. Um, I only got one package left of Sweet Beavers. I don't use them a ton, but I do like to have them around. Um, and obviously net bait <laughs> makes some of the best trailers and crosses. There's a whole bunch of pocket chunks and a bunch of pack of craws. So got to have a lot of net baits. So D-bombs, net baits, and in the back, I got some biffle bugs that I don't really use that much, but they're kind of back there. So swim baits. Uh, my favorite swim baits right now are the Biospawn Exoswims. So this whole bin is full of the 4-inch, and then these are all 3-and-a-quarter um, three inch. So I've been using the smaller ones a lot more lately. I use the bigger ones on swim jig trailers, but I use the smaller ones on just straight swim bait heads. And in the back, I'm kind of running low, but this is my small archive of Kitech um three inch swim baits i'm gonna have to reload on these this year um i blew through a lot last year so mostly swim baits a lot of biospawn and kitech moving down um this is my full tackle um archive this is all my hard baits top water all that kind of stuff so this is the stuff that's actually going to go in my boat i'm not going to take it out right now but there's a lot of stuff in there and then over here i'm a huge 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 fan of x zone so if you notice, I there's certain brands I like and I load up. I love Z-Man, I love Rage, I love Grande, I love Mega Bass, um, I like Missile D-Bombs, Pocket Chunks, um, Biospawn, but I love X I love X Zone. So for X Zone, I got a whole bunch of their craws. Um, I got a bunch. I'm trying out their flipping baits this year, the Adrenaline Bugs. Um, I got some of their drop shot stuff in the back, the finesse slammers. But anyway, Exxon Lures, I've been using them for a few years. I know they just signed Brandon Polonix, so they're going to blow up this year, but great brand. And then obviously every bass fisherman has a shit ton of <laughs> um, Yamamoto Sankos. So this is a whole bin of just my Sanko backlog. These are pretty much all Sankos um, in 5 and 4 inch and some 6 inch, but all Sankos. This is my whole bin. I'm a big finesse and drop shotter. This is my whole bin of just random finesse and drop shot baits. Yes, I do have some Guggen... Um, <laughs> These uh, Dragon Drops are actually pretty good. It's one of the Guggen baits I, I dig. I, I kind of like the Dragon Drops. They're pretty versatile. Um, tons of Robo Worms. I love Robo Worms. Lots of those. Um, in the back, I got some KVD Dream Shots. Let's see. What else I got? Kitech. Oh, I don't want to show these off because I've won some. I won a tournament last year using these. Um, the Easy Shakers. Um, specifically in the... Where is it? Where's my Moneymaker? Yeah. This is a great bait for largemouth. The uh, Morning Dawn Easy Shakers. Um, you can wacky rig them or nose hook them, um, but killer drop shot bait. But they last one fish. Kitech uh, makes a lot of money by making very soft baits. Uh, let's see, you got a bunch of Zoom, Super Finesse Worms. These are just kind of the ATV um, drop shot baits. You can use them for any conditions, any lake, anywhere. Always catches fish. So I kind of always have those around. Those are kind of the do everything. So anyway, this whole bin is just miscellaneous drop shot and finesse baits. Um, let's see, this one is all, I got some, sorry, I got some chatter baits and spinner baits hanging here. Um, these are all biospawn um, creature baits. So this whole bin is, well, the, most of this bin is um, the biospawn bile bugs. So I really like these for jig trailers and for Texas rigging. So they always go on sale. So I got a whole, whole bunch of those. Lots of different colors. Also in here is all my Mega Bass um, Meg Drafts, because I don't really know where else to put them. Um, but I got a whole bunch of uh, Meg Drafts. I keep them in the package, because I don't know where else to store them, so I use them. 
And when they're done, they dry out. I throw them back in the little package. So these get beat up a little bit, but I don't really have a better storage option. I throw, I'll probably throw them in these uh, Mega Bass bags next year. Moving down the shelf. Um, this bin right here is all of my random uh, stuff still in packages, I guess. So this is mostly um, extra shaky heads. Um, some backlog of uh, Okashira screw heads, um, some uh, must add um, football heads, one random jackhammer that I don't know why it's just sitting in here, but it is. So down here, this is uh, all my bobber stops. So buy them in bulk from Japan, super cheap. Um, and then, oh yeah, all my trailer hooks for top water. So I got trailer hooks. Um, that and then a bunch of empty baggies. I like using baggies for all my terminal tackles, so I just got an archive of extra ones. And down here, all my replacement hooks. So a lot of crankbaits come with crappy hooks, especially Rapalas. So um, these are good hooks, so I keep my backlog of hooks down here for uh, swapping out hooks. Let's see, here is just miscellaneous um, zoom stuff. I got a lot of flukes in here. Uh, oh man, that should be in my... I should be in wrong bin. That should be in the drop shot finesse bin. That's where that belongs. Okay. Anyway, a lot of random zoom stuff in here. Oh, I got some speed worms. I got some jackal. I don't know. This is just kind of a hodgepodge mix mash of stuff. This is my kind of like my JDM bin. This is my bin of super weird um, JDM baits. I know you see some KVD stuff in the back there. And yeah, there's a Boogan bait back here too. This is trench hogs. Yeah, these are actually pretty good. Um, but also in here, I have a whole bunch of. Weird JDM Jekyll um, baits. I got some Mega Bass spinner baits. This is just kind of my JDM stuff that I haven't really gone through and organized yet. Ooh, I got some Respect Color uh, 110s, some Depths, um, Bull Flats, some Fish Arrow um, Flashy Jays. These are really, really, really cool baits. Um, can't get them at any stores other than really JDM specific tackle shops. Oh, and some JDM specific, uh, these are Japanese market colors of uh, Hezodon shads. You can't get these in the US, like these slight glow. So I got a little stash of those. But anyway, this is just kind of my regular, my, my random bin of weird JDM baits, like for instance, um, the uh, Super Spindle Worms. Mega bass, cool stuff. Okay, so random Japanese stuff, and then this is just um, Cabela's for a, a long time ago had uh, put all their stick baits. They got rid of their stick bait line, and they put these on sale, and you could get these for like a buck each package. So I went hog wild and ordered a ton of them. I'm still going through them. So whenever I'm just fun fishing or fishing with kids or just um, want to use throwaway baits that don't really uh, cost a lot, I have still have, I'm still trying to go through this giant pile of Cabela's. Um, stick baits to be honest they're really good they're pretty much like yum dingers good good Sanko clones but it's taken me a while to go through these things man i'm gonna be i'm gonna be using cabela stick baits probably till i'm like 60. okay last shelf um one of my favorite flipping baits is the yum bad mama and you can get these things super cheap when they go on sale this whole bag is literally full of yum um yum bad mamas i got hundreds of these things they're soft, they don't last very long, but man, they are awesome flipping baits. So if you have like one flipping bait that you really like and you're confident in and they go on sale, you just buy a ton and then you have them. So I'm good on I'm good on yum um, bad mama flipping baits for probably the next 40 years. Down here is just a whole bunch of extra loose hard tackle stuff where I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it yet, so a lot of randomness. Um, and then here's just a basket of uh, extra hard baits that I haven't really um, found a place for yet. So this is my miscellaneous basket. Uh, let's see what I got in here. Oh, this bag is my bag of jigs that I don't need yet, but this is like my backlog of, like, look at, I got a lot of loose jig heads to make make football jigs. Um, I got a lot, this is a lot of stuff that was like on sale and I know I'm not gonna use yet, but I will use someday. Oh, I got all my skirts are in here. So this is like kind of my miscellaneous jig bag. And believe it or not, I got musky baits in here because <coughs> my musky storage bag is up in the attic. So I bought some musky, some new musky baits um, this off season, but I haven't pulled down the storage bin yet. So I'm just kind of hanging out in here. Um, yeah, this, 
This bin's full of just stuff that I've bought randomly um, over the off season and just haven't found a place yet. Got a nice X Pod. So this is just kind of like when I buy hard bait and I don't know what to do with it or where to throw it yet, um, I just kind of throw it in this bin because I'll get to it later. This is my cool Mega Bass branded basket. And then underneath, this is my real cleaning supplies. I, I clean and service all my reels myself. So this is kind of my stash of oils, grease, uh, cleaner, toothbrushes, towels, all sorts of just random stuff that you need to clean reels. And I just kind of throw that underneath. That's about it, man. That's my whole uh, backlog of tackle at the current state of off-season 2020. And uh, once summer rolls around, I will repackage all this stuff, throw it in my KVD bigs, and a lot of it will go into the boat. So that's it for today. Take it easy, guys.